online world. Welcome to technology, right? So new mindset is new result. And so getting into the mindset of this new market that we're going into, take a look at some of these statistics that will harken back to the days of old, the last downturn. And if you'll see here over on 2010, this is mortgage delinquency rates in the United States from 2000 to the fourth quarter of 2020. Now look over here at 2000, uh, that was 4.4%. Now we go to 2010, it went to 9.3% mortgage delinquency. And then as you can see, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, around 4.4% in 2018 and pretty much uh, stabilized until <laughs> it starts going up again. And that's where we are right now. So look over here, it was 9.3% in 2010 when the big bulk of the crash occurred. And sure enough, we have been hovering around 8% right now. So as we look at the crystal ball of what's happening and we look at them kicking the can down the road as they do, um, we see things like this. So sure enough, here's mortgage delinquency rate and unemployment rate seasonally adjusted. And look at this. You're looking at way back here in 1979, comparing unemployment to the mortgage delinquency rate, here's what you see. You see that there's kind of a big distinction of difference in the earlier years in the eighties, but then it started to align around 2000 where unemployment and delinquency was very much related. Uh, and as you can see here in 2020, 2021, here we are at 6.38% of uh, unemployment and look at here, we're at 6.17% of delinquency. So there's a very big correlation on unemployment. Now <laughs> there's not a real good reason for people to be unemployed right now because there's so many jobs available. However, the government is competing with the employers out there in the world that need employees because the government has been subsidizing uh, people's income. So as a result, they are really motivated to go out there and go to work, but it could be causing some of this mortgage delinquency that's going on. Now let's take a look at this FHA mortgage delinquency. And this is the percent of FHA mortgages, 30 days or more delinquent. And as you can see, this is a month over month back in July, 2019, before the COVID and all that, we were below 11%. And after COVID hit and can remaining consistent to now, we're between 17 and 18% delinquency in FHA. Now, let me tell you why that's a big deal, because I've been teaching my students for years to buy property off of the HUD home store. And that means that HUD has recaptured those properties from the lenders. They kicked in the insurance. That's the, that's what FHA is for, is for insuring the mortgages, the difference between the 80% and the 97% that uh, HUD allows. So that 17% differential is an insurance policy provided by the government to the lenders that are lending on these various houses and to these people. Well, sure enough, people, when they go delinquent, then they come back to the government, the lenders do, and they say, here's your collateral, give us our money. We're kicking in the insurance. So the government takes those properties back. Now here's what's big is since the moratorium, since the eviction moratorium, since the foreclosure moratorium, of course, what's been happening is people are hanging out in these houses and they are not making payment. As you can see, 18, between 17 and 18% right now in delinquency. What does that mean? That means that a whole lot of people are way far behind. And that means a huge, incredible backlog of FHA homes. So what we'll see is when FHA does go ahead and foreclose on these properties and they do go ahead and evict these folks, which 
could be a year down the road. It could be significantly down the road. However, it's important to note this because that means there's a lot of inventory coming. And whenever there's a dearth or a huge drop of inventory onto the marketplace. What does that do? That drives prices down. That gives us huge opportunity coming our way. And here's another one to take a look at the 10 metros most threatened by FHA delinquency rates. And what do we see right here in Atlanta, where I'm located over 50,000 delinquent loans, over 20% of the loans in the marketplace that are FHA backed loans are delinquent. 14.5% are serious delinquent and uh, the share of the overall market by FHA is 21% of the market. So as you see oh, here in the Houston area, that's 19 point, or excuse me, 15.9% are serious to delinquent. Uh, Chicago, 14.9%, Dallas, 12.9%, Washington, Arlington, DC, the DMV area, 15.7%. We've got Riverside, San Bernardino, California, 11.9% delinquency. California. Yeah. I said California. Look at that. And then we've got in an adjoining area of the DMV in Maryland, 14.1%. You've got San Antonio, Texas. Now this is three Texas cities. Now large metro areas, 13% delinquency. Oh, and then here comes Florida, Orlando, 13.8%, Tampa, St. Petersburg, 11.9%. So that means some inventory coming in certain markets in the country. And it's something that you definitely want to watch as we look forward to the new market coming. Now, some people ask me, does that mean Lou that you're not buying property? No, that doesn't mean that. That means, listen, go back to what I teach you about the house monster. The house monster is find your buyer before you buy. If you've got a buyer, they've got a down payment, they can afford the monthly. You've got no reason not to buy a property for them that you can buy right and buy cheap like I teach. So we've got that coming for you and know that, Hey, we've got some opportunity coming. And this is the market. This is the opportunity that's coming your way. So I, I teach you about the target market and all the other good stuff. In fact, I'm going to be doing some of this at the upcoming millionaire jumpstart. So we're going to be looking forward to um, definitely helping you in your overall strategy in your real estate business coming up in, uh, in the new, uh, opportunity that we've got. 